Express LRS is one of the best innovations in the FPV hobby. This thing performs great, has low latency, and is really affordable. It's really a no-brainer fly or switch into the Express LRS protocol. But what if you're a new pilot or maybe an existing pilot like myself with some old gear? Do I have to buy a new radio? Well, not really because Beta FB has just released their new Nano Module V2. So let's open this up and see what's changed. Okay, so here it is, the Beta FPV Nano Module V2, and it's in the typical Beta FPV white box. All right, first thing I see here is the Nano TX V2 module. This is a manual right here. Take a look at it a little bit later. And here's the actual module right here, very small and light, hence the reason why it's a Nano module. Then we have a USB-C to USB-A cable, really nice for firmware updates. Wow. And you have a USB-C to an XD30 connected, so you can power this up externally. And then we have a new antenna here, a little bit different than the V1 antenna. So here's your antenna right here. We'll put this right here. And last but not least, you have a QR code, so you can go to their website and download the manuals or get support. All right, so let's open up this new module here and see how it looks. Now, I can already tell it's in the typical white beta FPV color. All right, so here it is. And this thing looks interesting. It looks like a fusion between the original V1 module that I have right here and the actual Nano G module here, the Gemini module here. So you can see it's a gradual evolution. So let's see here. There you go, that'd be a gradual evolution here. We had the original with the white, with this grill, and then we had the Gemini module here. Went to a more alloy with a fan and two buttons. And this one has a little bit of both. White, it's plastic, but you still have the two buttons on here. So pretty cool. All right, so this thing looks really, really nice. And let's just get the antenna installed on here. Pretty straightforward. And that's it, installation is done. Now this looks pretty nice. The antenna here is a little bit different and unique. On the top here, you have the Beta FPV logo embossed in here. And to the right, it says 2.4G, designating that this is the 2.G version. This also comes in a 900 megahertz version as well. Okay, so let's compare the two modules here, V1 versus V2. Now the original module here was good for around 500 milliwatts. And as you can see on top here, you have this nice little alloy here. This is the heat sink for the actual module to help cool. And now this is a passive cooling uh, device on here. Now on the V2, as you can see, this one here has a fan inside. Now on the inside here, we do now have a thousand milliwatt module in here. So that's a lot of power from a small module of this size. And as you can see, we also have two buttons on here versus just the one. So you have a more customizable options. Instead of going into the menu, you can just hit the button on here and change whether it be the VTX or your power output with these two customizable buttons, which is very similar to the one on the Nano G right here. Now, one small upgrade to the V2 model is the backpack support, allowing you to sync both your goggles and VTX together, which is pretty convenient if you wanna change channels. It's gonna change the channel both on the VTX as well as your goggles simultaneously. So that's a pretty cool feature if you have that in your goggles. So let's connect this to our radio. For today's demonstration, I'll be using the Radio Master Pocket. It is a traditional smaller size radio, and typically these smaller size radios have a nano bay on the back. Now, just because I say that doesn't mean you can't use these modules on a larger size radio. Beta FB does uh, offer an adapter right here. And it simply just converts the nano module to a standard JR bay. Pretty much just insert this right here and put this into the back of your full size radio. So this works pretty well. And since it's one watt, you know, it's pretty cool for a larger size radio. I'll leave links to this adapter down below. All right, so let's put this on my smaller nano size radio. It's as simple as just line up the holes and just line this down and now it's there. So we're just gonna power this on. All right, so this thing isn't gonna be powered initially because I do have the internal module of my radio on. We need to turn that off and then turn on the external module. So let's zoom in here a little bit. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. We're just gonna go to the model page here and then hit page two, the next page. And then we're just gonna scroll down and turn the internal module off, RF. Let's see here. There you go, turn that off. And then we're just gonna scroll into external module, put that to crossfire, CRSF, water is set, that's all good. And then we can back out of this. Let's go back, return, return, return. And this thing technically should be powered up. So let's take a look, and there it is. 
flashing blue. All right, so let's go into the menu and take a look at what's on it. I'm just gonna go to the system, Express LRS, and it's gonna read the information on the actual module. Packet rate, that's all good. Telemetry ratio, that's standard. Switch mode is wide, that's good. Model match, I have it off. We have the TX power right here, we can select that and we can select it one more time. And we can change the power, it's set to 50 milliwatts right now. We can actually just scroll here, 100, 250, 500, and 1000 milliwatts. So that's pretty awesome. All right, I'm just gonna keep it at, let's go to, um, I'm gonna put it at 250, so I wanna, I wanna hear the fan come on. So let's put 250 on here. And if you go below, you can see dynamic power that's off, and then the fan threshold is set to 250, and you can hear the fan kick in. So let's listen to that. It's not that loud. It has a high pitch noise to it though, but that's fine. Now below us you have the VTX administrator so you can change the channels or monitor or actually change the parameters on your VTX. That's pretty cool. Then you have your Wi-Fi connectivity. And if you wanna update the firmware on that, you can hit that as well. Bluetooth joystick, the bind button to bind this to your receiver the old school way. So we can update this numerous ways. I think I'm gonna update it via the Wi-Fi module. So let's go to Wi-Fi connectivity. And then I'm gonna hit enable Wi-Fi. Now that's running. That's gonna broadcast a signal. And I'm gonna go on my computer here and see if I can put my passphrase on here. Perfect. That took it, it rebooted. So, technically that means that this thing should connect to my drone. All right, so I have one of my drones here in my Sinop. This is the Pavo 25V2. I've done a review on this one. This is a pretty cool drone, very compact. You have DJI O3 in the front. So this thing is pretty smooth, smooth 4K images. And this thing works really well. Perfect example for a small little compact setup like this right here. So let's plug it in and see if it connects automatically to my radio. Sure enough, it did. Here it is, we have telemetry, focus on it. You can see the telemetry right there. And let's see here, there you go. My drone is lit, so it is connected. This thing is pretty awesome. All right, can I fly it? Should I even fly it in here? Let me step back a little bit, because I don't know what this stupid drone is gonna do. Uh, I say stupid, but here we go. There you go. Okay, I didn't kill anyone today. Pretty sick, guys. Now, check this out. Now, this is one, I don't know how they're doing this, honestly. Uh, Beta FE is very proud to have this first module here with this antenna with the LED on here. It's kind of hard to see, but there's an LED light right on here. And it's the same color as the status light in the back right here. So it can give you the status of each one of what's going on here. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, didn't really think about that. I can collapse this antenna as well. This is a perfect match for a radio of this size, this looks amazing. By the way guys, if you're gonna connect this to your Express LS module, always power this module on with the antenna connected, even for the older ones as well. So that's how easy you can bind your radio and your module to your drone guys, or your receiver. That's the beauty of Express LRS. So if you're not on the Express LRS train guys, here's a good opportunity to get on it. This thing fits both small, uh, radius like this or even the larger ones with the JRB. So let me know what you think about the Nano Module V2. Is this pretty cool? You have the status up here. This thing has one watt guys, a thousand milliwatts. So let me know what you think about this module down below. Having said that, I'll leave links to all these products down below including the Beta FPV Pavo 25 V2. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.